Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm talking about Arrow, Season 2, Episode 5, called The League of Assassins. And let me just say, wow. <laughs> this was a great, great episode, and just like last week, this is my favorite episode of the series so far. Um, the show just keeps getting better and better. Um, so let's talk about this episode. Uh, it infuses everything in this episode, especially Black Canary. Um, we get to see a lot of Black Canary flashbacks and learn a little bit about who she is, or should I say Canary, because uh, I feel like in the show they don't like saying the color, so like Black Canary or Green Arrow, it's just Arrow and Canary, and I'm sure hopefully the color will come in as uh, the series goes on. But uh, yeah, we get to see flashbacks and how she's connected to the League of Assassins, and uh, the League threatens uh, Sarah's family, and uh, Oliver goes to protect the Laurel, you know, stuff happened there. Um, and Sarah goes to protect Quentin. And uh, Quentin finds out that Sarah is the canary. Uh, yeah, you know, because he's a detective, he, he's able to put it all together. And he's like, you're that, the mystery girl. Um, and she does save her father and says, you can't tell anybody. You can't tell Laurel, you can't tell mom, you can't tell anybody. Uh, and he's just like heartbroken. You feel for this guy and he's heartbroken by his daughter returning and not being able to really be with her because she she says I have to leave you know it's always gonna be a threat so she does leave she leaves at this time and uh, Oliver's sees that you know for Oliver's journey we get to see him it's like should I cover my past so much even going into parallel with Moria in this episode uh, where Moria has to decide death sentence or should I just be in jail forever or should I really fight this thing uh and really discover her past because we know she's hiding something so Oliver kind of takes out parallel and says yeah fight for it Moria you have to fight for it mom um but then Oliver, you know, wanting to tell Diggle what happened with uh, the five years on the island. And that's a big step for him. Uh, so just a lot of revelations in this episode. And we see in the flashback that Sarah um, was the torturer for Oliver on uh, the boat. Uh, and one thing I loved about the flashbacks, you know, usually I really don't like the flashbacks because they don't really connect that much to the present. But they connected so much to the present in this episode. And uh, I think just... Sarah being Black Canary amazed me in this episode because last episode I'm like, I still want Laurel to be Black Canary, you know, it's like Dinah, you have to have Dinah as Black Canary. But then, like, and then maybe Laura will become Black Canary, you know, we don't know. And it, it, it might be her journey to become Black Canary or me, Sarah will be Black Canary, but, um... We get, in this episode, I was totally convinced. I'm like, I want Sarah to be Black Canary because this was a badass episode. It was so badass. The action sequences were badass. She was an amazing character here. Um, if it was either Quentin or Sarah winning MVP here, because I felt that Black Canary overshined Arrow in this episode, which I think is, since it is her kind of story arc, um, she was supposed to overshadow uh, Arrow, but even Quentin, like, you felt for that guy. It's like those two characters you felt for. And then we had Felicity and Dig, you know, seeing how much they're close to, as a family to Arrow and, you know, now um, giving um, help to Black Canary. So there's just a lot of great character moments, but Quentin and Sarah were the best. And I think I felt when I was watching the episode um, with Sarah, when she left, I felt like what Quentin felt. I'm like... We don't want you to go. It's like one of the best parts of the season was Black Canary. Um, it's like, oh, we have to go back to plain old story. Like, don't get me wrong. I love Arrow um, just as Arrow and all the other characters. But Black Canary brought something to the table. Um, and it's kind of a shame we won't see her. I think we will be seeing her in flashbacks, at least how the episode does end. I think we will see both uh, Sarah and Oliver's um, past intertwine, at least for the time being. Uh, but I really want Sarah to come back. Like, that's something I feel that should be happening in this, in this series. I think that's what's really got the season to be so pumped up. Uh, but yeah, there's still a lot of interesting story. Again, with Laurel, she's a little, I would say she was the odd one out in this episode, though. I still didn't care for her story arc as much. And then you compare her to Sarah, and then Laurel. And you're like, Sarah has to be Black Canary. Uh, Black Canary. Uh, because then you look at Laurel, she's doing her drugs and stuff, and, like, you feel for her, but you don't feel the emotion that you did with Quentin and Sarah in this episode, which just, again, was amazing. Um... Just totally excited about this episode, and just the League of Assassins in general, bringing stuff like Ra's al Ghul into, into the story, and they are pretty badass too. Um, and then we had um, 
uh, you know, Abu Nazir from Homeland um, being the, the main villain of this episode, which usually I do not like the villains for uh, Arrow. I, I usually think they're two-dimensional, but this, you felt for the villain too, and you're like, all right, they're a true villain. They're, they're going to get um, Sarah's family. And uh, I just thought everything was perfect here. Um, the action sequences, the comedy with Felicity, of course, she's always a comedic relief to make us simmer down from that all that action. Again, it's just that disappointment. It's like how I felt, uh, what Quentin felt. Like, I just don't want that character to go. Because uh, I just thought the story was great. And again, the parallels to the flashbacks were really good. So, tell me in comments below what you thought about this episode. Again, I loved it. Um, I definitely will be watching uh, this episode again. I really hope Black Canary is not gone. Because, it, like, like, let's think about this for a second. Um, you know, compare Huntress to the Black Canary arc, you know, we could compare that. I think that's a, a good comparison. Huntress, like, after she left, people were happy for her to leave. Like, I like Huntress as a comic book character, but I did not like her in Arrow. But then we have this arc for Sarah, and you're like, I don't want her, I want her to be a main character, like Felicity and Roy and all these other extra characters that we've been having from the comic book mythos. So, uh, and then, you know, the reveal to Quentin, I did not expect that to happen in this episode so quickly. So, uh, again, just so many great moments here. Uh, and then even, like, moments with Mori and Thea, I think those are the lighter moments in the, in the episode, which really worked, um, just to make us, again, have a little bit of a lighter story. Uh, you know, I'm semi-interested to see what happens with Mori and uh, I hope they don't push Thea to the sidelines and Roy. Um, I think they're, they're two characters that could become very interesting um, throughout the course of the season, but they're focusing more on the Moria story with them, so I don't really know how that's going to go. But uh, I'm excited for next episode. We have Diggle, um, a Diggle story. Um, I like Diggle. Uh, I don't know if I really love his past life. I kind of like his interaction more with the group. Uh, but we'll see if he can do a standalone uh, episode. We'll have to see. Um, but loving, this is my favorite season of Arrow so far. Obviously, it's only season two, but it's my favorite show right now on on air. You know, I get very excited for it and uh, really liking it. So tell me in the comments below your theories, because I think there's a lot of theories. Your favorite moment. You guys know my favorite moment. Do you think Laurel should be Black Canary? I think I, that's a question I'm going to keep asking. Do you think Sarah is the better Black Canary? Because honestly, from this episode, I think she was. And I don't see Laurel uh, at this moment being a better Black Canary. So, uh, Badass. That's all I gotta say. Uh, but yeah, tell me in the comments below. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter for Comic Uno and the Rant Situations. And don't forget to like me on Facebook. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.